Hey guys, Boss from Ramos. First and foremost, Merry Christmas. Appreciate any of you guys watching this the day of the posting. Uh, for those of you guys who watch the game, I feel sorry for you guys. And those of you who were at the game, I feel even more sorry for you. It was, it was a blunder. It was so many things. One thing it was, it was, uh, it was a big setback for this Miami Dolphins team. Uh, but first and foremost, we'll get into some stats, uh, not stats, my bad, highlights here. Uh, first, Green Bay Packers kickoff return, turns it loose, gets past Jason Sanders, gets him all the way down to about the 10 yard line. Luckily, nothing crazy came out of it. It was only uh, three points that resulted, no, no touchdown there for the Green Bay Packers. Next drive, big play, especially for my fantasy teams, Jalen Waddle. Big touchdown run, uh, reception. Gave me about 25, 24, 23 points. I'm not sure. But uh, big plays by Jalen Waddle there. Fourth and goal, Aaron Rodgers finds Mercedes Lewis. Tough one. To a finds Tyreek down deep, down the field. Gets it all the way down to the one. Big reception by Tyreek. Sets up the Jeff Wilson touchdown. Dolphins. Looking good. Uh, up, what was it, 13-20 at the half. Green Bay Packers, classic Green Bay Packers. Steal possession with the halftime. Gets a touchdown with um, A.J. Dillon. But the Dolphins failed to do anything in the second half. Two through three consecutive interceptions on consecutive drives. And uh, it really cost the Miami Dolphins. Now, what did it cost them? In terms of playoff positioning, not much. Uh, Dolphins, no matter win or loss today, did not lose or gain in any playoff positioning. They could have gained in the playoff positioning. Uh, they could have gotten possibly to the sixth seed, and uh, depending on what happens to the Chargers on Monday night. But I'm expecting the Chargers to win on Monday night, so uh, not much to be expected there. But big blow to the Miami Dolphins, especially in their playoff push. But this game really came down to who needed it more. And at the end of the day, the Green Bay Packers just needed this win more than the Miami Dolphins. It's flat out how it is. Dolphins were fine with their positioning. It is what it is. They'll take the seventh seed, face maybe Buffalo or uh, Kansas City. Currently, it would be Kansas City. But they would play either one of those teams and, and you know, test their luck on the road and the playoffs and like you're going to be on the road no matter what but strengthening your position in the playoffs it just it, right now for the Dolphins it, I guess it just wasn't it it is what it is but these are games that the Dolphins need to win it's very upsetting you know it sucks especially being on a holiday cold day and it sounds like I'm playing I'm not I'm just stating how it is cold day in Miami you know fans are coming out for holidays expecting you know a good team performance and it's not really what they got and it really sucks as a fan uh in terms of you know what things are to come who knows now it just sets up they got to win these next two games coming up against the patriots and the new york jets by the way the jets game was just announced that it's going to be on the seventh i don't specifically have a time yet i'll check throughout the course of this video but who knows uh, in terms of team stats, Packers had 301 yards, Dolphins had 376 turnovers, Green Bay had one, Miami Dolphins had four. Time of possession, Green Bay had 32 minutes, Dolphins had 28 minutes. Flat. Like, <laughs> there's no second seer in there. No, it's 32-28. First downs, Green Bay had 17 first downs, 15 for Miami. Uh, in terms of those first downs, Miami, uh, Green Bay had 11 passing first downs. Dolphins had 10. Rushing first downs, Green Bay had four. Miami Dolphins had five. Uh, first downs from penalties, Green Bay had two of them. Third down efficiency, two of 14. Uh, Miami Dolphins, two of seven. Uh, fourth down efficiency, three of five for the Green Bay Packers. They even tried to fake punt, didn't work. Uh, Dolphins, one of one on fourth down. Uh, total plays, Green Bay, 65. Miami Dolphins, 45 looking at the camera because it's we need to get more plays in, we need to get more time in possession yada 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 to secure these these wins total yards we already went over that total drives both teams had 11 uh yards per play green bay 4.6 Miami dolphins 
8.4 big chunk play yards and like we'll we'll get more into that into the player sets <sighs> sucks really sucks really really freaking sucks all right now let's get into uh the the player individual stats aaron Rodgers went 24 38 238 yards one touchdown one interception two sacks for a loss of 16 yards Tua went one, uh, 16 of 25 310 yards one touchdown three interceptions two sacks for a loss of 16 yards rushing green bay as a team had 79 total rushing yards uh, 11 carries, 36 yards for A.J. Dillon and a touchdown. Aaron Jones, 6 carries, 25 yards. Uh, longest of 18. That 18-yard that run was baffling to me. It was it, that, I think that set up the, the fourth and goal. Like, like that set up that. That was that drive. Aaron Rodgers, 7 carries, 18 yards. Longest of 12. Davion Levitt, minus 1 yard on the carry. Um, that was the, the fake punt. Miami Dolphins rushing. Raheem Mostert, four, eight carries, 45 yards. Jeff Wilson Jr. had nine carries, 37 yards, one touchdown. Tua had one carry for no gain. And now let's get into receiving. Alan Lazard, five receptions, 61 yards. Uh, longest of 42 off of 11 targets. So defense was there. It, it Before I even get, go further, this, this loss, and I hate to put it on one person, but it, it's on Tua. You cannot afford to throw three consecutive interceptions with the game on the line. Your defense clutching out, keeping you in this game, you know, not allowing necessarily touchdowns. And you choke it. Throw three straight interceptions. The Gaseki, the, the 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 last interception, the one that was shown on the highlight, he and everyone else in the in the stadium knew you're throwing it to Gaseki. I was calling Gaseki before they play even start. I'm like, Gaseki's on the side. He's going to get a nice little look. I get it. Rasul Douglas dropped into coverage and was able to pick him off. But that it was too predictable. And that's that's the moral of the story of with this Dolphins team right now. Christian Watson, second in receiving for the Packers. Six receptions, 49 yards. Uh, longest of 20. Romero Dobbs, three receptions, 36 yards. Uh, Mercedes Lewis, two receptions, a touchdown. Miami Dolphins, Jalen Waddle, five receptions, 143 yards, one touchdown, longest of 84, which was in the highlight. Tyree Kill, four receptions, 103 yards, longest of 52, included in the highlight as well. Trent Sherfield, two receptions, 25 yards. Mike Gusecki, one reception, 24 yards. Uh, Derm Smythe, one reception, eight yards. And everything else wasn't too crazy. Uh, Green Bay fumbles. Aaron Rodgers fumbled the ball. Uh, Darren Reed recovered it. A.J. Dillon uh recovered no my bad aaron Rodgers fumbled it on the handoff to aj dillon aj dillon recovered it uh two had two fumbles he recovered one uh raheem moser recovered one and so did robert hunt uh defensively for the green bay packers i know it seems like i'm flying through this i'm just want to get through the stats so then we can talk about the team adrian amos was leading the tackling for the green bay packers 11 total nine solo um Jor jaron reed had six total Four solo, one sack, one tackle for a loss, two QB hits. Preston Smith, five total tackles, five solo, one sack, uh, two QB hits. Jair Alexander, four title, four, four solo, uh, one pass deflection. Key stats, Razul Douglas had two pass deflections. Uh, TJ Slayton had a tackle for a loss. Javon J. Campbell had a pass deflection. And Javon J., uh, Javante Wyatt had a QB hit. Kingsley and arguably had a pass deflection, QB hit, and Quay Walker had a pass deflection. Miami Dolphins leading tackler was Jevion Holland, eight total, eight solo, one tackle for a loss. Uh, Landon Roberts, seven total, four solo, one sack, one tackle for a loss, one QB hit. Eric Rowe, six total, six solo, one sack, one tackle for a loss, one QB hit. Uh, Kater Kohu, two pass deflections, same thing for Christian Wilkins. Xavier Howard had a tackle for a loss. A pass deflection and a dropped interception. Very unfortunate. Zach Sealer had a tackle for a loss. Uh, so did Andrew Van Ginkle. And Bradley Chubb had a QB hit. We'll talk more about Bradley Chubb. He suffered a hand injury. Came back in the game with a clubbed hand. Uh, unfortunately, couldn't make anything of it. Kick returns. Uh, Kius and Nixon had two kick returns for a total of 113 yards. Longest of 93. 
tough. Tough. That was the opening kickoff, too, for the Packers. Merrill Dobbs had two returns for 39 yards. Uh, Josiah DeGora had a return for nothing. Uh, Raheem Oster, six returns, 114 yards, longest of 27. Alec Ingold, one return for a total of uh, eight yards. The Josiah DeGora one was the botched kickoff. I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, Randall Cobb had a punt return for two yards, no punt returns for Miami. Mason Crosby went four for four on field goals, two for two on extra points, longest of 46 on the on the to- on the field goals. Jason Sanders went two for three on field goals, longest of 46, um, two for two on extra points. Pat O'Donnell had one punt return uh, total for 46 yards. Uh, Morissette had one punt for a total of t- 46 yards as well. All right, now with all those stats out of the way, and me mis- wishing you guys a Merry Christmas, I'll do it again. Uh, Tough loss for the Miami Dolphins. Doesn't mean they're out of the playoffs. No, no, not whatsoever. In terms of the standings, Dolphins currently hold the seventh spot and will stay there no matter what happens uh, in any of the games that are remaining. That being said, the playoff spot is not secured. You're in the seventh seat. You have teams at your tail. The team right behind you, New England Patriots, you play them next week. The, the New York Jets, right behind them. You play them the following week. Tennessee Titans just found themselves out of the playoffs. The Jacksonville Jaguars just took the AFC South uh, division lead. Currently not sold on winning it, but there's there's they're rising. Tennessee Titans found themselves out of it. Pittsburgh Steelers, they won last night. They have a chance, but Dolphins had a head-to-head win against them, so that's a good luck with them. Uh, aside from that, Las Vegas is still in the hunt, but they are too far out in my opinion i don't think they have a chance uh in terms of the nfc for any of you guys green bay packer fans who may be watching green bay did themselves a favor by winning today they are currently at the 10th seed so as it stands the fifth seed is locked up by the dallas cowboys uh they have a chance to win the division but i don't think it's possible uh let's see new york giants six seed eight and six uh eight six and one seven seven and one for the washington commanders those are the 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 three NFC seeds. Then you have the Seattle Seahawks, seven and eight. Same thing with the Green Bay Packers and Detroit Lions. Detroit Lions are ahead of the Green Bay Packers. And then the six and nine Carolina Panthers, six and nine New Orleans Saints. We're all fighting for the divisional spot. We'll see what happens with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers tonight. Now, playoffs out the window, like in terms of what we uh, are going to do in terms of covering it. This Miami Dolphins team so streaky first first and foremost three wins three losses five wins four losses at least end the season with two loss two wins consecutive and get yourselves into the playoff feeling right and who who knows you're more than likely playing kansas city which will be a return home for tyree kill who matched up against that defense each and every day for the last almost five years so they know what he's going to bring to the table. Let's avoid that. <sighs> it's a tough loss. I'm I'm flustered in terms of like, man, like this is a game the Dolphins should have won. I understand, you know, you can't win them all. But a game like this, it just, it just means more. Uh, playoffs are on the line. You could have ended someone's hopes for the playoffs, essentially. And, uh, you know, I'm happy. In terms for Joey, <laughs> he's gonna, you know, his team lives on for another day. So do the Dolphins, but a win here would have boosted you up to the sixth seed. And who, what you play the Cincinnati Bengals? There's a nice storyline there. I completely lo- forgot about it, but remember when Tua went out? Remember when he went out with a big concussion? It was against the Cincinnati Bengals. What more would it be to play against that team? in playoffs in route to having a nice little run i mean the start line there would be just absolutely crazy but there's still time hopefully chargers lose that'll be great that'll be absolutely amazing but i'm expecting chargers get a win and pretty much secure themselves a playoff spot that being said let's talk about what the dolphins did this game they shied away from the running game but once again they need to stay on course with the running game I get it. You have Tua. You want him to throw the ball. You want him to make a point. 
stick to what's working. The running game was working. Jeff Wilson was running the ball very well. And what did the offense do? Shy away from the running game once again in a crucial moment of the game. And what did it do? It cost you. You had three straight uh, interceptions. I get it. I get it. As much as everyone wants to be right about Tua, I do too. But you cannot keep allowing things like this to happen. It's costing us games. Crucial games. All right. So keys to victory. Run the ball. Shy away from that. Protect Tua. Did a pretty good job at it. But pressure was there all game. Did we put pressure on Aaron Rodgers? Yes. Did he fall to it? Yes and no. Wasn't horrible. Stopped the running game. Dolphins defense did. Defense did their job. Offense, this more specifically, Tua did not do his job. Um, made big plays, but also made very bad plays. And we need to stop this trend. We need to get off this losing streak, win these next two games, get into the playoffs looking right. All right. Aside from that, I know it sounds very down and upset and uh, 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 you know like you, I, I i feel it for myself but this this run of bad things happening to the dolphins needs to end right here right down right just this second they need to reevaluate themselves yes you made good things happen but we need to be better play calling assessing what's working what's not working defensively I understand like you allowed points but you can't get much better than that you know you, you you really limited this green bay team who has stars like we got have guys at spots i wouldn't say necessarily stars but they have guys at spots that if you let them do their thing they will burn you make you look bad score points on you and dolphins defense limited that so i want the offense to follow it up with performing well and unfortunately they didn't I understand you played a pretty tough defense in the Green Bay as well, but these many little mistakes here and there start to pile up, snowball, turn into an avalanche. Things are not looking good. So I just want the Dolphins to hit the reset button, figure out what's wrong, how can we be better, and how can we put this team in a position to secure themselves a playoff spot. These next two games are crucial against two divisional foes these wins just mean more like mike mcdaniel alluded to in the beginning of the season these divisional games just mean more they're like the the little special ball when you're doing the three-point contest with that being said i'm gonna finish this video put it out to you guys and go watch some nba basketball because i think i'm done with football for this week unfortunately <sighs> but that being said hope you guys enjoyed it merry christmas happy holidays i'll catch you guys the next video game picks week 17 peace